On the second day of October of 1996, I was picking ear corn with one row ear corn picker on my farm in Honey Creek outside of Jefferson City, Missouri there. And the stalks were breaking off in the header and causing the, the header to knock down corn instead of bringing it into the machine. So I left the machine operating, left it running, got off, and went back jerking on stalks like I'd done for 20 previous years. For some reason, somehow, it got me this time. It got my hand, and it took it through the rollers immediately, and from then on it was a fight for life to try to get free of the machine. My dad had warned me for 20 years that there's been a lot of men dying in machines, and he wanted me to quit doing it, but I had never had a close call, which I think makes a lot of us continue to do things we shouldn't do out there on the farm. That's part of it. And then the tardiness factor can play into it too. At the time I was working at a transformer plant in Jefferson City and a lot of times I'd work a shift and a half and still trying to come out and farm along with that. So there's factors that brought it on most likely, but uh, I have told people and I mean it, we think it's always going to happen to someone else, not to us. It got me. It, it happened to me this time. The dangers of being active on the farm while being fatigued are much greater than in a common workplace. Working with uh, combines and machinery late in the night, especially in the planting and harvesting season, there are not many times that a farmer can ask for help or can uh, be alerted to a uh, danger ahead of them. Individuals can avoid fatigue on the farm by uh, finding time to relax, uh, especially during the planting and harvesting season. Uh, farmers are often working long hours. You may see them on the road, 9, 10 o'clock at night, still out in the fields. And even when you're working that late, it's still important to incorporate a good quality sleep. And to be able to incorporate a good quality sleep, you need to be able to rest fully. And so part of that is just going in, relaxing, using breathing techniques, anything that you can do to get yourself a little more at ease so that you can get into that deep REM sleep that you need to be able to perform at your best. I wish that people would really understand how bad it has changed my life. Life I knew ended that day right out there in that cornfield. And I had to relearn to do things that just came natural to me in the past because without the other hand, it's not the same life anymore. What I would like to tell other farmers is there is tomorrow. Don't try to get everything done in one day and don't push and push and push. When you're tired, shut the machine off, go to the house. There's no going back a lot of times on these accidents and I had one that there is no going back on. I'll live this way the rest of my life and have to wear prosthetic arms and it can be prevented, these type accidents do, if we think about that first. To think of ourselves, it can happen to us. To, to get that mindset rather than to try to push so hard when we're tired to continue to get stuff done and we think it's quick going to make it faster or quicken the period. But if you have the unfortunate accident like I did, it doesn't make it any faster, it almost ends everything.